Hey, we're back. And when we left off, Link, or should I say the Links, have, have just been flung to Lake Hylia. And look, we just found a force gem. But there are lots of ways you can use your sword. I'm going to actually let you guys figure that out. Send a video response of all the moves. And I guess we'll send you a friend request or something, but... But I guess I mean, that's kind of a stupid way to get a friend request. But oh well, you can do it anyway. But this game, it doesn't have as many sword attacks as some of the other games. But it has lots of classic ones like the jump attack. I'm not showing you how to do that. Okay. Collect as many force gems as you can in this first area. Roll around again just to see if you got them all. Then leave. Remember, cut down all the grass. What sucks about this game, though, is that they gave you hearts when you don't need them. And in Link to the Past, whenever you needed hearts, they weren't there. Like, they're giving you hearts, even though we haven't even met up with any monsters or knights or whatever yet. Oh, uh, just walk inside this room here. Let's see the new window came up. It says Game Boy Advance's P down at the bottom. That's because you can use a Game Boy to play this game. Well, he... Formations are the key to working together and performing great deeds. If you're interested in learning more about it, go on into my backyard. Sorry I skipped most of that. I, that's just kind of instinct for me. Or second nature or whatever you want to call it. Okay, we'll get started once they're all standing in the field on the left. So just go stand on the field on the left. Okay, it looks like you're ready to get started. I'm going to do the boys in the art of formations. And do it all the time. I guess I'd better explain how this all works first. I'm on the other to the name of a formation. You will press the L button or Y buttons to form up. That's it! If you hear a formation name, but not know which it is, watch my grandkids. Alright then, here we go. Books! Good next. Wide. Good next. Long. Good. Last one. Cross. That's enough. That's the end of the drill. I'll give you some force gems for all the hard work you've done. No matter where you go or what you do, remember your formations. Our safety is my number one concern. But if you didn't notice that, I, nothing like that came up when I wanted to go in formation. That's because I used the C stick on my GameCube controller. And now we leave. And move on to the next screen. See, in this area, there's no bridge where we can cross. This is another place where we can use our magical four-person ability to move on. Just move this rock here. Eventually it'll splash and you can move on. You can smash signs and everything too. And then what it said on that sign was that if you press and hold B, you'll be able to see most of the whole screen, if not all of it. Oh, well, but now let's see what we can get out here. Force gems. You can actually get that with the next item we find. And under one of these rocks, there's a bunch of force gems. 50 force gems under that rock. Alright, move on into the... Cavern. Step on the button in square formation. Move on to the what? Move on to the next room. And da da, we get our first item the boomerang. Dad, Dad, I heard my butt. Exit the Game Boy screen. Send it at the force gems and move on again, I guess. Alright, use the boomerang to get these force gems out there. Kill the Octoroks if we can. That's 100 force gems right there, folks. Okay, if you can kill this guy, he'll give you 100 force gems, so... He makes a big deal about it, and then explodes. And we grab his force gems. Da 
backtrack was good at dodging. Got small keys, R to carry it. Okay, there's no more cutting down all this grass is because of the next item we get. There's a green, you just don't, you don't have to talk to her, I'm not gonna. And another item, pick up the R. And guess what it is, a fire rod. Fire rod is kind of like the ice rod in the link to the past, but it's fire. It can do that, and it can do that. Oh, so you want... Oh, so you want that rod, do you? That shadow boy is definitely the same thing. I hate it from him, but I think you can have it since you've been so nice to me. Seriously, what did you do for that lady? And besides, you look like you can be trusted with it. Take care of it, alright? Yes, I will. And one thing cool about the fire rod... Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, great. Cool, I think we got them all. And we'll burn that down. Get a bunch of horse jumps, pick that up for what reason. Burn these stumps. Pick up the rock. Toss it aside. Go in the hole. And finally, we get to move on. And what's that in that pool over there? That is a cheap cheap. Yes, from Mario. Right. And here we are, Max on the other side. Okay, there's Dark Link up there with his hammer. We just kind of ignore him because we can't get up there to kill him. I'm like you're like I'm not unless you're like really fast. Which apparently I wasn't. Okay, now just kill off these Octor Rocks. Okay, now this button. You don't really need this button to move on, but it's pretty cool anyway. And remember, if you have a fire rod, burn grass. Don't cut it. Just pick up this rock, throw it at the off rock if you can, which I didn't. And like I said before, you can help it burn the grass. Bush here. What could be under this bush? That's right. All right. Now we move on. Pick up this rock. There'll be some kind of weird jelly thing under it. Just destroy it, I guess. Pick up the rock, and I really hate having to do this, because Jingle really is the most annoying person in the whole, in the whole game. The whole game is big. I mean, they love him in Japan, sure he's awesome there. But here in America, we couldn't care less about Jingle. But anyway. He's saying that we're a fairy, and uh, collecting force gems might turn into a fairy. Wacko. Oh well. He wants to share tingle, and he wants to share force gems tinglely, but no. And right now we are out of time. So I will see you in the next episode, which should be very soon.